in a previous lesson you saw how to edit your own profile from the drop down menu at the top left of Moodle. And we also saw that it is a very good practice to update your profile as quickly as possible with as much details as possible. This increases learning engagement and also encourages learners to follow suit. There is one more way in which to access the same edit profile link and that is through the same drop down menu as earlier which allows you to edit your profile and do a whole lot more. This time we will access the preferences link like so. The preferences page allows you to configure literally all possible personal settings allowed by Moodle in one convenient location. For example, you can change your password, editor settings and language settings. We will explore a few of them in later classes but in this lesson we will look at messaging. Let me first open the messaging options page by clicking on this link. Every possible way that you can be notified by Moodle or different events and activities during your usage of the platform can be configured in this page. Though this page looks pretty complex, let us understand how it works. Every potential event that will cause for a message to be sent to you could potentially result in either a pop up notification or an email message or both or neither to be sent to you. An example is when some other user such as a student sends you a message from their account. Furthermore, for every event you can decide Moodle's behavior when you are logged in to the system or you are offline. Continuing with the same example, you can see I have enabled a pop-up notification when someone sends me a message when I am both offline and online. However, I want an additional email to be sent for the same event only when I am offline. So that is what this setting will represent. I recommend that you have a look at this page. Moodle will already have preset all settings for you. You might want to customize your own settings based on your teaching style and requirements. And not to worry, you can come back and change this setting at any point of time and any number of times. When you are finished with your customizations, always remember to scroll to the end of the page and click the Save Changes button. Finally, there are another couple of very important settings that you would like to have a look. You can choose to shut down all messages for yourself completely enabling this checkbox. Be very careful with that as you might miss out on important messages. Also, if you prefer plain text emails over HTML format, then you can make this setting also. So, in this lesson, we have seen that the messaging and notification center in Moodle is pretty powerful and you can exercise a great deal of control over how you are notified of various events and activities in Moodle. You should take the time to visit this page and get familiar with it.